Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. Today we're answering your questions at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois, and I am thrilled to be with Dr. Vinay Badwar, who is the professor and executive chair of the Department of Cardiovascular and Thoracic Surgery at West Virginia University in Morgantown. Dr. Badwar, thanks for being with us today. Good to see you again. Yeah, and we were just looking over some questions that we got one of the questions that didn't come in was about a topic. We hear a lot about mitral valve repair. We don't hear a lot about aortic valve repair. Can you maybe talk about some of the exciting things that you're doing at West Virginia University? Sure. I mean, it's a global trend now, actually. And aortic valve repair as opposed to replacing the valve. Uh, going back, typically when patients present with either a blocked aortic valve or aortic valve stenosis, or a leaking aortic valve or what's called aortic valve regurgitation, there is really only one surgical option, that's replacing the valve. And then, you know, all of your readers and bloggers uh, discuss the merits of replacing with a mechanical valve or a tissue valve. I know something that you know uh, things about. Um, but what's changed perhaps over the last five years or so is that for certain patients, there are techniques that have been developed to rebuild the valve or repair the valve. So in blocked valves or stenotic valves, we now can use one's own heart lining or pericardium to rebuild the leaflets. And that's a procedure called the Ozaki operation, a name for a surgeon out of Japan that has um, ex experimented and now done that in over a thousand patients in Japan and now in the United States. Now, patients that have a leaky valve, that there's been many techniques that have been developed, uh, namely in Europe, but all of those have been using leaflet techniques to try to repair a, a portion of the leaflets that have failed or other issues like that. But that's not always fully reproducible. And so there's, it's not really been rapidly adapted in the United States. However, an exciting development that's happened uh, starting in Europe and now in the United States, we now have FDA-approved rings. Now, let me explain why that's important. As I know all of your viewers have seen, is that in the mitral operations, we always support all the good things we do to repair the mitral valves with a ring because we've shown that late recurrence occurs when we don't support the annulus or the door frame of the valve. So in the aortic valve, we now for the first time have that available. And those are aortic valve repair rings or what's called the heart, H-A-A-R-T, annuloplasty rings for both valves that are three leaflets and two leaflets or uh, tri-leaflet valves and by custom valves. Definitely exciting for me to hear this news because we always hear about the mitral valve repair that that is a potential fix for life. So versus some of the replacement techniques. So yep. Dr. Badwar, we can't thank you enough for everything you're doing at the West Virginia University and just keep up all the great work and thanks for being with us today. Pleasure as always.